Hi folks, welcome to the new shop. Holy cow, I am so excited right now. I really feel like things are coming together. It is awesome. Let's take a walk around. I wanna show you guys the space. I wanna talk about it. I've got some questions. I'd love some help. But first, if I may, we started this in 2006 in a New York City one bedroom apartment with a tag next to the pillow of our bed. And those videos, do not watch them, but they're still up there. You know, I, I didn't know a thing. And I fell in love with machining. We moved, my wife and I moved to a two bedroom apartment. We had this uh, small, I don't even know to call it a room, but a, or a bedroom, but a room where I kept the tag, I got a little lathe, some more stuff, it was great. Learned a ton there. Moved out to the suburbs, that's when we got to a walkout garage where we had the Tormach, we got the plasma, and I feel like I really cut my teeth and improved a lot of my skills. And we were fortunate enough to be able to figure out how to put things together and get out of New York, which was phenomenal. As you guys know, we moved into the family farm shop which I was super excited about. Ends up that didn't work out so well, and you know, maybe I should have learned that, but folks, it's all coming back together. We've been in temporary space, which we knew was temporary right now. Also great, but this is it. We, uh, we're buying the building, so we will sort of control our destiny there, which I really like. And well, let's take a walk around, I'll tell you more about it. So the room we're in used to be, this is unbelievable, used to be at the local area community colleges machine shop training facility. Uh, part of the reason that we're excited for this building is we've been really excited to launch our new training program. We, we love the YouTube videos and we absolutely will be continuing those, but we get so many questions from folks that whether it's just a, a hobby, whether they want to get into it as a career, whether they want to buy a machine, whether they want to do a Kickstarter, they want a hands-on training. So we're super excited. We've got a bunch of classes out there. That's a key part of this building. Um, but again, the coincidence to me was just too funny. So this is about a 4,000 square foot room, thick pad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some questions that I really would like your help with. We, our plan is to get this floor epoxy coated, but just the front half. So that would be just where you see that single beam toward me. The reason is that the back half we're gonna have as welding and fabrication and storage. And I don't wanna epoxy coat it for the welding because of the heat and the beads, but um, I also wanna keep on a budget here. Um, the big question I have in this room is gonna be, what's a way to divide the room um, in terms of trying to keep grinding and plasma dust to the other side, but not permanently doing it with, you know, we've got a forklift now, which you'll see in a second. Um, you know, being able to move between the two and so forth, uh, I, I would love suggestions on that. The best thing I've come up with is either build an actual wall or tall welding curtains. And the wall seems too permanent, and the welding curtains to me seem like they'd look kind of crummy. Anyways, oh, the other thing is right now there are just basically temporary lights in here. We are planning to replace these with three rows of T5 fluorescents. If anybody thinks I'm wrong, I would welcome input. If we turn around, you'll see what used to be the office and classroom space. So they actually had two different uh, schools in here. One was the machine shop school. The other was what they called auto tech. So the two ends of this room were the classrooms and then there's some small office area here. We've got proper, hey bud, say everybody say hi to Jeff. Uh, Two restrooms here, one has a you know urinal for men's. Obviously we've got a lot of work to do in this room. The plan is to epoxy the floor as well. We're gonna leave it as an open ceiling so we just need to clean up some of the ducting and then put, um, coat this wall with like a UGL vapor barrier type coat and then put studs out one inch, I think from the block wall, put, it, put in standard insulation and sheetrock this room in. This will be where we have our training classroom I'll have an office here or a break room, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I need to think more about the actual layout, so I'm gonna try to just keep it, um, not divide it up too much uh, for now. So you've seen that. Here we come into the machine shop and plasma and welding in the back. And then the last room is to be determined. 
what we're going to do with this. This was where they used to do auto tech. Come on, man. You can see we've got the Freedom Huddle Humvee in here for now. You can see we've got the, the forklift that we just picked up. Folks, I am super excited about this. Uh, the quick details, 3,000 pound heister. I, I kind of had wanted a five, but the truth is I think three will be fine. And great condition, about 8,000 hours. Jared, who, who works here, knows these pretty well and was comfortable in looking it over. And it came with one tank and an extra spare back there. Um, and those tanks, I think, were 250 new. I got the quote from, from Delil for. We got this whole thing, again, with two tanks for 2,000 bucks. That, to me, was a win. So excited to have a forklift. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I thought about renting it out, but I think we'd, I'd like to keep it if I can because I think we're going to use it. I think we're actually going to grow into it. And I want to actually put a lift in here for the Humvee to work on that. You know, that stuff is really more fun than it is business, but um, we'll see where that goes. So yeah, um, that's, that's the shop. That's the space. The, so the big questions I'd love to hear from you guys, again, demising this room, uh, making sure everybody agrees with T5s. I'm, I'm told LEDs just aren't worth it or are not there yet, and T5s are pretty good. Um, airlines. I want to have this done correctly. I plan on being here a long time. I'm thinking about running a lot of copper because I'm told the only drawback to copper is cost. It's the best to longevity. It's the best to condense out moisture. And I want the air done correctly. Even if we change to a bigger compressor, those lines should still be fine. That's my thought. Welcome input. The building includes, you can see them here in the corner, um, right? There, it's got two of those big corner heaters in each bag, which are great. Um, they're coming by next week to test them. Oh, by the way, we, we um, have access to the building now because the guy who owns it's a great guy. We won't actually close um, for a few months, so this is all early. Um, but we are excited to say that our open house will be Saturday, April 30th. Super excited for everybody who came last year. I had a great time, I think everybody else did but it was cold and it was outdoors and it was different. This is gonna be awesome. Tormach's gonna to be there, the folks from Autodesk are gonna be there, American Rotary, I think the folks from Flexarm are gonna come down. I'm just, to say I'm excited is an understatement. I also have a lot of work ahead of me, both because with the YouTube channel as well as our training program is, is starting up and then obviously getting moved into here. So I'm gonna leave it at that folks and get back to work, but thank you, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to, to meeting folks. We're doing a training class the three days leading up to the open house. So if you want to do, take the training class and come to the open house, that's a unique opportunity. Otherwise, folks, take care. See you soon.